This morning, FEMA disaster teams on the ground in East Palestine. 16 days since that fiery train derailment unleashed a cloud of toxic chemicals. Frustration and skepticism mounting in the community over many unanswered questions and allegations that officials haven't done enough. I, I'm 53. I've had two headaches in my life, and I feel like I've had one every day since the controlled burn. Norfolk Southern CEO was on the ground Saturday to see the damage firsthand, releasing a statement saying he is, quote, deeply sorry about what the community is going through and promised to do the right things to help them heal. The town's mayor posting on Facebook, quote, he told us all Norfolk Southern is here to stay and will make sure the village is made whole. We intend to hold him to that. Despite the apology, Norfolk Southern now facing a class action lawsuit alleging the railway company's negligence led to a one million pound plus chemical burn pit and the spread of chemical toxins. Attorney Frank Potosa at Morgan & Morgan filed the claim. The biggest issue is just not feeling like they're getting a straight story as far as what they should or shouldn't do, whether or not it's safe to live in their home and enjoy as they normally would in a daily basis. While the Environmental Protection Agency maintains its testing so far shows the air and water are safe, many are still concerned. Community members now handing out water bottles for those who still don't feel safe. People appreciate it. Uh, it's probably going to be a, a while till everybody feels comfortable about everything in our town, but it's, it's coming back. In coming days, the state will open a medical clinic in East Palestine for concerned residents. Also Saturday, President Trump announced that he will visit the area on Wednesday. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, Columbiana, Ohio. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.